Samsung Galaxy S10 versus iPhone 10 speed test. That video's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the Galaxy S10 versus the iPhone 10 speed test. The S10 is running the Snapdragon 855 with eight gigabytes of RAM. Over here, iPhone 10 running Apple A11 Bionic chipset with three gigabytes of RAM. Samsung S10 has One UI 1.1 Android 9 Pie on board. And Apple iPhone 10 runs iOS 12.1.4. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and test the face unlock for the Galaxy S10 3, 2, 1. And you can see it goes right in three, two, one, although this is easily fooled, you wanna use the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor for getting into the device. If you want a more secure method, you can see that face unlock is pretty quick even though it's not secure. Let's go ahead and test out the iPhone 10, three, two, one. And you see it goes right in, three, two, one. So I definitely prefer face ID when it comes to face unlocking here for the iPhone 10, but I do like the convenience of the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S10. In terms of speed though, that face unlock is faster for the Galaxy S10, although less secure. Okay guys, so we're here at the application portion of the speed test. Everything closed out on the right, everything closed out on the left. Let's go into calendar, three, two, one. And you can see that's the Galaxy S10. Calculator, three, two, one. Again, the S10 with the faster animation. Clock, three, two, one. Again, that's the Galaxy S10. Let's go into settings, three, two, one. And you can see Galaxy S10. Play Store, App Store, three, two, one. Again, Galaxy S10 on the left. Snapchat, three, two, one. That is the S10 on the left. Let's go into WhatsApp, three, two, one. WhatsApp goes to the S10. Let's go into Twitter, three, two, one. You could see that is Twitter easily on the left to the Galaxy S10. Let's go into Instagram, three, two, one. You can see Instagram first on the left for the Galaxy. Let's go to the hearts. Once in that application, it doesn't really matter. They're both very quick here. Let's go into Amazon, three, two, one. You can see Amazon first on the left. Here comes the iPhone 10. So, so far, basic apps are just blowing away the iPhone 10 for the S10. Let's go into Best Buy, three, two, one. And you can see Best Buy showed its screen first and the iPhone 10 loads first though on the Galaxy. Coming home, let's go in eBay, three, two, one. You can see eBay first on the left. Good stuff so far, S10 with your Snapdragon 855. Let's go into YouTube, three, two, one. You can see YouTube is first on the left and let's go into trending. You can see trending tab similar. So once in, it's just a smoother scroll on the iPhone versus a faster scroll. You can see it right there on the Galaxy. Let's go into Firefox Focus, three, two, one. You can see that's the left coming home, internet on both and Safari a little bit better optimized. So I'm giving that one to the 10. Let's go to Slither, three, two, one. You can see a little bit of a pause there. We're gonna give this one to the iPhone 10. Play against AI. Once in the game, both perform excellent. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2, three, two, one. And you can see Dead Trigger 2 seems to be in the lead on the iPhone, but no, the Galaxy loads that first. Let's hit play. You can see the iPhone gets in there first over the Samsung Galaxy. So still the iPhone is an ex excellent performer in games, mostly because the games are very well optimized for the iOS platform. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride, three, two, one. And you can see that still that little animation just doesn't look nice there. But the Galaxy was in first, it went right into the game. Let's go into the Real Racing 3, three, two, and one. And I tried this out like every time and Real Racing 3 seemed to always kind of load up first for the iPhone 10, but will it change here? No, it doesn't. I tried this multiple times. Real Racing just seems better optimized for the iPhone 10, but you see an iPhone 10 one there. So I've been finding that in just regular, you know, basic games, the S10 loads them faster a lot of the time. But when it comes to like these more graphically intensive games, it seems like the iPhone still is a little bit better optimized. Let's go into Geekbench 4, 3, 2, 1. And you could see that was about the same to load, I think slightly to the iPhone 10. Correct me if I'm wrong. You've seen the S10 sliding a lot on this table right now. That's because it's a very slippery phone. But in terms of the speed test, I got to give it to the S10 for overall performance. It just feels faster in everyday usage. When you get into games, sometimes they'll load a little bit quicker on the iPhone 10, but you're not going to notice it because you're not comparing them side by side. Also, when playing the game, 
they both perform well and the s10 seems to stay pretty cool under gaming so we're going to reload some apps here just to see if we get any reloads on the s10 we shouldn't see it with this oh that was a little bit of a pause but we shouldn't see too much here for the s10 with its eight gigabytes of ram dead trigger 2 slither and internet let's go to firefox focus youtube ebay best buy amazon instagram and if you want it to look a little faster all you have to do is go into settings and turn off the animations on the galaxy s10 so you can see right there everything in and out real good eight gigabytes of ram no issue what about this three gigabytes of ram let's go and the iphone 10 had that open like I say, I really just like how smooth the iPhone 10 feels when you're doing this like reloading stuff. It just, it really does feel like it has everything right there for you. And eBay, eBay looked like it reloaded just a bit. Best Buy, slight reload. Amazon, this does have only three gigabytes of RAM, so I don't expect it to be better than the S10, but the smooth feel does feel better. And that's just no joke right there. Let's go into settings and you can go to clock calculator calendar everything good to go but again the s10 has features that you can pop view do things like this for true multitasking versus just going in and out of applications so the s10 with eight gigabytes of ram seems to be the winner i've seen a couple of slight loads there on the reloads for the iphone 10 so when it comes to the ram management department the reloading stuff like that galaxy s10 okay so let's go ahead and open up the camera three two one you've seen the iphone 10 there we go three two one Again, the iPhone 10, let's take a photo. Three, two, one, one. You can see the iPhone just a little faster with that photo speed. Let's go ahead and hit the burst. There's a little pause there for the Galaxy S10. So the camera on the iPhone 10 is a faster affair here. So if you want a faster camera, you want the iPhone 10. I think if you want a better quality camera though, you want the Galaxy S10. It just has more options, more cameras on it. So the S10 is probably the better option for camera, but speed wise, iPhone 10 is still up there and even faster than the S10. So in terms of Geekbench, we do have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 over here, eight core CPU, Apple A11 Bionic chipset, three gigabytes of RAM. Let's hit the CPU benchmarks. Let's go. I'll be back when they are done. So you can see the final Geekbench scores are in. The iPhone 10 with the win on the single core keeps up in the multi-core, but you've seen in the real world, it didn't keep up in actual usage. So this is a win to the iPhone 10 for single, a win to the Galaxy S10 for multi. So here we are running an Antutu benchmark. I will be back when the scores are in for these two. So the final Antutu benchmark scores are in and the Galaxy S10, 357,124 versus 159,988, beating 91% of users here. So doubling that of the iPhone 10's and 2 score. So we've read the conclusion of this video. The iPhone 10, while still a great performer for being a two year old phone almost, now it's going on two years, the Galaxy S10 is the faster phone here. And if you upgrade from this, you will feel it. It's a faster feeling phone in the day to day usage. However, the iPhone is still very fluid with iOS with its gestures. They just feel super smooth in usage and everything is very well optimized. So if you can live with a little bit less of a fluid feel, you will really like the Galaxy S10 because it feels snappier and faster to open applications and you get three cameras on here. You get a bigger, more beautiful display. You can try out Samsung for the first time if you like. If not, the iPhone 10, you could hold on to this to see what the iPhone 11 brings. But I did this comparison because both of these are in the same price range. A refurbished iPhone and Apple right now, 256 gig is like 869 bucks, something like that. The Galaxy S10 has all kinds of discounts, promotions to get it even cheaper than its 899 price point. They're still in the same ballpark, so they are comparable price point wise. So did you upgrade your iPhone 10 to the Galaxy S10? Let us know down below. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, and informing, click the like button for me. If you're new here, subscribe for more. I got more coming. Make sure you got that bell notification turned on so you don't miss any of my upcoming updates. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.